Hi, my name is Nepal Witt, and this is our mini project for microcontroller course. Later, I'll be joined by my teammate Nani Cha. For this session, we'll walk you through the idea behind our project, how it works, the tech behind it, a live demonstration, and finally, what's next. Let's begin with the idea. The idea came from a simple struggle we all share, especially artists and creators. Imagine this. You're an artist or designer. You see a color on your screen, lilac, vintage mint, or a bowl crimson. You fall in love with it, but then comes the hard part, recreating it in a real paint. Mixing color manually takes time, gets work, and often lead to waste. What if you could pick a color, any color, and a machine mixes for you? Introducing Color Drip, a smart system that brings your digital colors to life. No more guesswork, no more trial and error. Just pick your color and let the machine do the mixing. Just enter the hex code and it precisely pumps and mixes paint using CMY pigment, giving you the shade you imagined with a push-up button. Next, let's talk about how this machine works. Every hex code represents an RGB value, a combination of red, green, and blue light. But screen and paint don't work in the same way. Screens use light, it's addictive color. Paint uses pigment, which is subtractive color. So to create a real world version of a digital color, we had to convert from RGB to CMY, cyan, magenta, yellow, the building blocks of color in the physical world. Then we went further by adding K of black to improve depth and realism. That's CMYK, the same color model used in professional printing. Then we use these formula to convert from RGB to CMY. Once we have the color in CMY values, the rest is powered by hardware, Arduino, and a few precise peristaltic pumps. To walk you through the tech behind it, I'll hand it over to Nani Cha. Thanks, Don Prawin. Now let's walk through how it works in code. Start with the first function, precision pumping function. At the heart of our color drip system is precision, and that precision comes from one essential function, pump ML. This function activates a pump to dispense a specific volume of liquid measured in milliliters. It starts with two parameters, pump number, telling us which pump to activate, and ML, the amount to dispense. We calculate the number of seconds based on the flow rate of our pump. In our case, it dispenses about 1.111 milliliters per seconds. This gives us a simple way to convert volume into time. But real-world hardware isn't perfect. Small volumes can be inaccurate due to startup lag, so we compensate with an error rate, a delay offset that improves accuracy depending on the size of the PAR. Then, we convert seconds to milliseconds and subtract the error rate to fine-tune the timing. Finally, we turn on the correct pump using its relay pin, wait for the precise amount of time, and then stop. Next up, from hex to hardware. This is the function that transforms digital colors into real-world liquid paint. It's called mix from hex, and it takes in two things, a hex color string and a total volume in milliliters. So, if a user sends tag FF00FF and wants 30 milliliters of paint, we split that color into cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and send that data directly to our pumps. We begin by cleaning the input. Remove the tag if it's there, and validate that the string is six characters long. That's our base case to catch malformed input. Then, we extract each RGB component from the hex string. These are converted from hexadecimal to integer values, from 0 to 255. Next, we normalize each channel to a 0.0 to 1.0 scale.
perfect for floating point color math. Now comes the conversion from RGB to CMYK. We calculate the K value first, the amount of black, based on the darkest component of the RGB trio. Then we solve for cyan, magenta, and yellow using a standard formula, compensating for how much black is already present. Each color value from 0.0 to 1.0 is now scaled by the total milliliters the user wants. So if the color is 100% cyan and we want 30 milliliters, we'll now pump 30 milliliters from the cyan pump and zero from the rest. Finally, we call our pump MI function for each channel, only if the amount is greater than zero. This makes sure that we don't trigger a dry pump. Now that we've built all the pieces, from the precise pump control logic to full CMYK mixing from hex code, let's bring everything together. We start by declaring an array of integers. Each number here represents a digital pin on the Arduino. These are the pins connected to our relays and each one controls different colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. The setup function runs once, right when the device powers on or resets. This is where we define how our hardware behaves. Now, this line is crucial, serial.begin9600. It's the baud rate, the speed at which the Arduino communicates with your computer via the serial monitor. Without this, our program can't talk back to us or receive input from the user. In here, we loop through each element in our relay pin array, and for every one of them, we set it to output mode. Next, the loop function. It runs over and over forever while the Arduino is powered on. This line checks, is there any data coming from the serial monitor? We grab the full line of text the user entered until they hit enter and remove any extra white space. If the input starts with hex, we know the user is asking for a color mix from a hex code, so we call function mix from hex. And for the else block, we handle things like manual mode, and also catch cases when the user enters an invalid format. Surprise! There's one more thing. At the last minute, we're adding one more delightful detail to color drip a 16 times 2 character LCD screen. Let's see it in code. To begin, we include the liquid crystal library. This gives us everything we need to control a 16 times 2 character LCD display using standard digital pins on the Arduino. Then we initialize the LCD object with the specific pins we've connected to the display. RS, enable, and the four data line, D4 through D7. This matches our physical wiring to software control. Inside setup, we start by initializing the display with lcd.begin 16,2, letting the Arduino know the screen has 16 columns and two rows. Then we set the cursor to the top left corner of the display and print a welcome message, color ready. <laughs> In loop and helper function, when we receive a hex code, we first clear the screen, then display mixing from hex to confirm the input mode. If the user sends a color as RGB values like 255, 255, 0, the LCD shows mixing RGB, so the user can follow along as the color is being interpreted. For manual pumping, if the user enters a manual command, we show manual pumping on the first line. And on the second line, we display which pump and how much. Lastly, after all the functions run, we use the LCD to show a precise volume breakdown. The first line, cyan and magenta. The second line, yellow and black. Now that you've seen how it works, let's see it in action. 
We'll start with a single example, a soft sky blue, represented by the hex code tag 4D96FF. That color is converted into CMYK values showing on the LCD screen, and from there, the mixing begins. Within seconds, the color combined to produce the shade we selected, automatically, accurately, and hands-free. And this is the result, a real-world version of a digital color, created by our color drip system. Now, let's take a quick look under the hood. At the center of the system is an Arduino Uno, which receives the CMYK values and controls each pump based on how much of each pigment is needed. Each pump is wired to an 8-channel relay module for safe switching, powered by a 12-volt adapter and precisely timed using simple Arduino code. Everything is enclosed neatly behind the system, making it compact and modular for future upgrades. So that's a look on how Color Drip brings color to life, from a hex code to a mixed cup of paint. Next, I'll hand it back to Nonbrowit to talk about what's next for this project. Now, let's talk about what's next. Right now, we control the machine using the serial monitor on a computer. It works, but it's not quite standalone. So one of the first things we're considering is adding a simple input system like a keypad that lets you enter hex code directly on the device itself without needing a laptop. But we also want to make it smarter, so we're adding a companion mobile app. You could choose a color manually, pick one from your photo library, or even use a camera to sample a color from a real world. Once you've picked your color, the app sends the CMYK values to the machine wirelessly. And just like that, the paint starts mixing. This opens up a lot of potential, not just for artists, but for decorators, designer, or even hobbyists who want to map real world colors effortlessly. And that's Color Drip, a project that started with a simple idea, bringing digital color to physical world. It combines hardware, code, and creativity, and we're just getting started. Thanks for watching.